Good to see you back in action. Hey, Derek. Do me a favor. Come in. Shut the door behind you. Sure. Christine, has she turned up yet? No. I've had no sign of her whatsoever. Listen, there's a shift change coming on. I'd like you to make sure that everybody coming on knows the situation. Anyways, already took care of it, Jack. I appreciate that. You know, um, I think what happened in court today really stinks. Yeah. Anything else? <sighs> Braden Lavery. You know, Jack, I... I'd bust him in a heartbeat if I could, but, but you know, I can't. My hands are tied. Yeah, well, I'm going to untie your hands very shortly, believe me. Until then, I want you to tail this guy night and day, 24 hours a day. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, I, I could do that unofficially for a little while. Yeah. This bastard raped my sister. He's not going to rape another woman, not in my jurisdiction. I want him to know. He's being washed. I want him to feel the heat. I want him ruined, Derek. Professionally, personally, in every way. You know, maybe I should call the bulletin. Talk to the crime reporter there. Jack, 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 you can't, you can't leak what happened in court. Really? To the Watch me. Listen. Listen, Jack. We have been down this road together. I understand. I do. I mean, she's your sister, but... If you ever hope to make a case against Braden Lavery, you have got to do it by the book. You mean differently than I did it with Ryan Lavery? Ryan didn't do it. No. No, Ryan didn't do it. His brother Braden did. But we could put him in jail, couldn't we? No, we had to let him walk. So what do I do? I ask you for a little help. Just until I can figure a way out of this private hell. But what do I get from you? I get excuses. So you tell me, Derek. Whose side are you on exactly? Yours, Jack. We're all on the same side here. Is he? Trevor Dillon, what a surprise. Come here to cut a deal for your new client? Well, you're in luck, because it's bonus week this week. I'll even take care of his outstanding parking tickets. Take How's a look at these. Braden Labor's doing 25 to life. No excuses, no deals. And if you so much as thinks about leaving town, I'm going to squash him like a bug. You follow me? It's good to see you, Trap. I hear you, Derek. Jack, I'm here on behalf of my client, my ex-client, Ryan Lavery. He was exonerated this afternoon. You need to read these, sign them, stating that you've dropped the charges against him. You signed. You got it. In trip. Me, two for you. Satisfied? No, Jack, I'm not satisfied. Not by a long shot. That uh, Maloney press underneath gonna help you, Jack. You know, Trevor, I don't recall asking you to consult me on this case. And I certainly don't recall asking That's not you to the sit case down. here. You've read the medical report. There was no physical trauma. No. My sister was emotionally traumatized. She couldn't speak for days. It's not the same thing. You know what I suggest? I suggest you get the hell out of here. Because if you're Braden Labor's defense attorney, you've got your work cut out for you. He doesn't need an attorney because there's no case. That's why you had to let him walk. You blew it. What exactly do you want from me, Trevor, huh? You want me to admit that I pushed too hard with Ryan? That I wanted to win too much? All right, fine, I admit it. But you can't get me to believe for one second 
that I have no chance of prosecuting Braden Lavery. You got no case. Your sister's history, the mistakes you and she made going after Ryan, no matter who his defense attorney is, you still got no case. So you tell me what, that I just have to let this guy walk? Jack, you already let him walk. He's already gone. I got news for you. I'm not going to let my sister's rapist get away scot-free. I'm telling you that right now. So what's your alternative? You're going to spend 10 years pouring over law books, pondering on a case that you can't win? This is not your concern, Trevor. Not your concern, unless you've got... You plan to go up against me again? See, that's it. Right there. It's not about you and me. It's not about you and your sister. It's about you and what you've become, how you use your office, how you use the police. It's abuse of power, Jack, and you're above that. Look, all I want is justice for my sister. And what would that justice be? Braden spends time behind bars? Yeah. But you shot the wad on that. You lost the case. The real rapist walks out the door. Now, is he responsible for what happened in that parking lot? Yes, he is. But the rest of it, Kit, Jillian, Ryan, that's all on you. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Jack, you gotta know I'm saying this, because I love you. And you gotta stop this before anybody else gets hurt. Especially you. Please. I want my friend back. So. Underwear? Want to sell my name on the tags for me? I'm sorry. Just trying to make sure you have the essentials. Well, anything I forget, I guess I could just pick up when I get there, right? Well, sure you can. Bien sûr. I've been looking through some of your French textbooks, hoping we could uh, parlez vous. Très bien. Uh, votre avec son are formidable. Uh, excuse moi I said you have a very nice accent. <laughs> Merci. I'm afraid that's about the extent of my repertoire. <laughs> uh, I'm a little hesitant to bring this up, but... Is, is this about women in France and, uh, you know what? Because if it is, Dad and I already had that little chat. No, no, it's not about that. I just thought you should know that even though your father doesn't show it, He's very upset about you going to study overseas in France. No way. He was totally cool about the idea. He thinks it's a great opportunity. But let's face it, this will be the first time you've been away for longer than an overnight at Oysters. It's not like it's forever. I know, but until you come back, who's he going to go to the ball games with? Who's he going to stay up all night with on Saturday nights watching those horrible monster movies, throwing popcorn at the screen? I'm just trying to tell you how much he's going to miss you. I don't mean to sound like a nagging stepmom, but... Call. Write. As much as you can. No problem. I'll go get your T-shirts out of the dryer. <laughs> um, tell you what, to... You don't need to mention our little tete-a-tete -tete to Trevor, okay? Got it. Hey, Tim. Hey. 
I uh, came across this old travel clock I uh, used to use. Alarm clock. Thought it might come in handy. Thanks. So, are you good to go? Uh, just about. Just waiting for Janet to bring up that last load of laundry. Oh. Then, uh, while she's out of earshot, uh, I know she wouldn't want to, I mean, to say anything about this, but you leaving and everything, it's, it's gonna be tough for her. You think? Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, who's she gonna wake up for on Friday nights? Who's she gonna yell at for drinking out of the milk jug? <laughs> Me. And calculus, homework, she's not gonna have that to do. She's gonna go batty. So, I, I need you to do me a favor. And what's that? Um, just, you know, every once in a while, jot a couple words on a postcard and send it home, along with a little dirty laundry. Let her know you care. You got it. Yeah, and don't say anything about our chat, okay? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> what's so funny? Yeah, what, what, what's the joke? You guys are possibly the worst lawyers I've ever met. But... You're the best parents a guy can ask for. Come here. Yeah, busted by a mere teenager. That's me. <laughs> you guys were just a little obvious. I'm the one that's gonna miss you, and I'm laying it off on her. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be the first time. No, I'm copping to it. I'm gonna miss your face. Votre face. Oui, c'est ça. <laughs> that goes double for me. You guys are too much. I mean... Most parents can't wait to get rid of their kids. I'm in no hurry. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Think back a couple of years. Who would have ever thought that we'd feel this way? Well, it took me a while to come along, right? You did. So did I. That's what makes saying goodbye so hard. Not goodbye. Au revoir. You know something, Tim? You're not just my stepson. You're my friend. Mon ami. Mon ami? Mon ami? Mon ami? <laughs> my family? <laughs> we are so lucky. We are so blessed. Hey. Yeah. Put your hand through the loop. And then what? Oh, no. Ah, my anti-brother leaving for France device is a success. <laughs> I thought you wanted him gone so you could grab his room. I changed my mind. I don't want him to leave, so I won't miss him so much. Hey, you don't need a rope to hold on to me. <laughs> it's love that holds this family together. Yeah, the old heartstrings. Just think of them as extension cords. It will go anywhere. And wherever Tim is, he can just plug into the old main current. That's right. You just give a little tug, and I'll come running back. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a Dylan family hug, huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, you little news, you little mutt. You take care of my family while I'm gone, okay? Jim, shake the leg. We're gonna miss your flight. All right. One more hug before you leave. Come here. You got your passport? Here it is. Thanks, Amanda. Strap them on. Send me lots and lots of postcards. I promise. Tim, we gotta move it. All right. Goodbye, guys. Bye, Bye. Bye. Safe trip. See you later. Call us as soon as you get settled. Call us from the airplane. Do we have any construction paper? I think so. Why? I want to make a calendar so I can mark off all the days Tim is gone till he gets home. I think I'll make one, too. Okie dokie. Thanks, hon. Appreciate it. Well, she's not back at the hospital, thank goodness, but uh, I don't know where in the world she could be then. Well, she's probably out for a drive. I take it as a good sign. I made some tea. Let's hope she didn't think we're trying to poison her. No, of course not. I mean, I'm just heartsick about the way she's been treating us. Here she is so changed and all, and, and we can't help her. 
I think we are helping her. How? She won't let us anywhere near her. Acts like she can't stand the sight of us. Erica's angry. She, she's got every reason to be. She's got to take it out on something or somebody, and that's us. Yeah, but why? I mean, we love her. Maybe seeing us reminds her of how she used to look. And she knows, no matter how mean she is to us, we'll forgive her. Well, of course, but I mean... It means better that, that she takes it out on us, rather than herself or the rest of the world. No, well, that's for sure. You know, I'm going to make a call to the office. I mean, I hope she didn't go over there and try to do some work. It would just be so hard on her to see her with, you know, see herself there with all those pictures. Oh, Erica, honey, how are you? Such a nice night. Did you go for a drive? Yeah, a lovely spring night. Why don't you both go out and enjoy it? Vanessa, hello. How nice to see both of you. <sighs> what an unexpected pleasure. Oh, Erica, why don't you go upstairs? I think you probably need to rest for a little while. No, thank you. I, I don't need anything. Oh, well, well, it, it, it's so nice of you two to drop by. may not be the best time, however. You know, Erica and I have had a very long day. Well, no matter what she says, I'm sure she's got to be tired. We won't be long. Mm. Opal, if I enjoyed being stared at, I would donate myself to a museum. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Uh... Erica, really, I think you need to go upstairs and rest. I don't need a thing. Thank you very much. I am just appalled that you two would show up here. Your betrayal of me really hurt me very deeply, and I hope you will understand that I just, I just don't want to see either one of you for the time being. Of course, honey, of course. If you, if you need to be angry at us, you just go right ahead. We understand. I I'll be upstairs. Erica, wait. Look, you can play this any way you want. Because we're your friends. We're going to wait for you. We, we love you. But this Ice Princess thing does wear a little thin. We want to support you. We never went meant to betray you. Of course we didn't. We want to we wanna take you in our arms and hold you close to get you through this terrible ordeal. You should hold your real friends close. Erica, please, listen. Janet never spoke a truer word in her whole life. All I want, I just... to be able to give you one good hug. Well, Opal, you I... You stay out of this. You know, I feel so terrible. I mean, you having to go through all this, be here all by yourself, all alone. And I was just thinking, I mean, now that Palmer's gone, me and Petey, you know, we would just love to come and stay with you for a while. I mean, Petey'd love your big backyard and duck pond and all. He'd have a great time, and I know we would, too. And... Mm -hmm. So sweet of you, it really is, but it's not necessary. Vanessa's staying with me now. What? Vanessa? You've known Vanessa about 15 minutes. Hey, that makes about as much sense as organic vegetables. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You two are better equipped to decide how I live and what I know that I am. I, well, we're not saying not that. What but it is. You see, I am still able to make the decision as to whom I invite into my home, and I have. So now I really am weary. If you'll excuse me, I will. I'll see you both at another time. Oh, please don't think so badly of her. I mean, Erica's going through these wild mood swings. What happened? You mean the mood swings? No, you! What? What are you doing here? Oh, well, you know, I stopped by to, to just drop off a little gift. When I saw she was in such dire straits, I couldn't refuse her when she asked me to stay. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd better show you out so I can go up to her. No, no. I made Erica her favorite tea, the kind her mother used to make her. Well, you I want to... Let me take that up to her, please. You know how Erica gets when she feels sort of backed into a corner. Please. Oh, and by the way... <laughs> How did you two do get in here? Uh, no one was here. I have a key. Oh. Oh. 
Look, I, I'm so sorry your visit wasn't very successful this time. Next time you drop by, maybe she'll be in better spirits. Bye. Well, now, if I were the yellow pages, where would I be? Probably here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> lock, 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 Smith. Where would I be? Good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> yes, good evening. <laughs> I find myself in need of a locksmith. Yes, of course, I read your ad. 24-hour service. That's why I'm calling you. Yes. I need to change all the locks in the house. So... Are you sure I shouldn't have worn the gray suit? You know, gray is the new black. Hopefully you look fine. Oh, my gosh, the files. I, I, I left the file on the table in the vestibule. I, I put it down to put on my lipstick, and, and, and I, I forgot it there. I gotta go back. I've got get... the files. They're right in here. Oh, well, thank heaven. Opal, you know you can change your mind if you're having second thoughts about this. I'm with you whatever you decide. Really? No. No, Palmer Cortland thinks I don't have the smarts to understand what's going on in that board meeting. Well, he's got a short memory. Oh, shows you what a fool he is. Oh, I'm real lucky to have you by my side, though. I don't know if I could walk through that door uh, without you. You sure you want to walk through these doors at all? You bet. Let's go give the old devil his due. Now, gentlemen, if we could just concentrate on uh, page 12, the drawl. Uh -huh. Can we help you, Mrs. Corlett? Opal, we're in the middle of a very important vote here. If you would please leave. I'm not going anywhere. Opal, this is a board meeting. If you have something to discuss with me, just contact my lawyer. I know this is a board meeting, Palmer, and as holder of half of your shares of Cortland Enterprises, I'm here to take my seat on the board. Opal, if you don't leave now, I'll have security Anyone throw you who up. Anyone in her direction will answer to me. And if you want to continue breathing, old man, I suggest you turn yourself around and get this lady a chair. I'm sure we can reduce Mr. Anderson's dosage to 50... Given Opal's considerable holdings in Cortland Electronics, I'm moving that she be made a member of the board. You can't do any such thing. Well, seeing as I'm representing Erica Kane's interests while she's away out of the country, I think I can do that, and I don't think Erica would have a problem with that at all. Well, this is, uh, it's, it, this is just preposterous. Opal, hey, that's my chair. Do you mind? Mort, don't you move. Thank you. We have serious business to discuss, none of which this woman can possibly comprehend. No, 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 Palmer. What we got here is a motion on the table. Well, it hasn't been seconded. I second it. You can't do that. You're not on the board. Mort? I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Cortland Electronics, welcome, Ms. Cortland. Well, thanks. And I appreciate your support. I have invited my son, Adrian Sword, who holds a Ph.D. in computer engineering from MIT, to advise me on the more technical issues. This is a high-tech business. All of the issues are technical. Now... Would you do your best to keep up? Gentlemen, if I could redirect our attention to my previous proposal, and we will start on page 12. Excuse me. Uh, my son and I have uh, looked over this proposal, and uh, I think it's a bad idea. 
Cortland Electronics is in the perfect position to expand into the server business. Was. About ten years ago. That train has since left the station. There's no way we can catch it up now. Mort, if you don't mind taking one and passing them on. What is this nonsense? Miss Corden would like the board members to uh, reconsider the Y2K problem. Well, I've been there and I've done that. This company has been completely and fully assessed, and there's absolutely no risk of any software or hardware failure. And your customers? All of our equipment has been made to address this matter of, for the past 10 years. What about your customers that uh, purchased their hardware prior to the last 10 years? Such as your local mom and pop service companies or the small town lighting and power companies. As of our recent findings, they're still at great risk, which is why I've proposed that Cordon Electronics provide all of our customers owning hardware prior to 1990 with a simulation of the Y2K, which will determine what happens, followed by free technical support to address any and all problems. That would cost us hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes, it would. But the income you stand to gain by upgrading these grateful customers with their new hardware could earn you millions and millions. You see, if we uncover a segment of our customers with obsolete technology, we have just uncovered our new target market. You keeping up, Palmer? Don't women. Friday. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Mr. Sword's wonderful proposal is passed. This is Miss Cortland's proposal. I'm merely here working on her behalf. Oh, she is lucky to have you. Uh, shall we adjourn now? Aye. 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 Well, that was definitely worth the price of admission. Erica's going to be sorry she missed this, I tell well, you. Well, it was great to see a friendly face when we walked in. Well, you're going to see a lot of happy faces now. What with this proposal? It's going to make them money, stick at the Palmer. I enjoy the win-win situation. Yep. Excuse me, Mort's waving me over. Yeah, I got to be running along, too. I got some other business, all this corporate politicking. I ain't, I'm, I'm for regular criminals myself. <laughs> hey, uh, you're looking good. No, good thanks. Good for you. Bye, Trevor. <clears throat> yep. Palmer, Eric is uh, going to be very happy to be making some cash on his shares. This new blood you got on the board, congratulations. Hello, Bull. You may think you've won, but it's only round one. You've really overstepped this time. Oh, Palmer. I'm not playing any games. Won't you ever get it? Now, I was on your side all along. You had it all. You had a wife that adored you, who only wanted for you to be happy and loved. You know, I was your family. And you threw me away. You threw it all away, Palmer. Well, I was never out to get you. Not then and not now, okay? I really feel very sorry for you. You haven't seen sorry. Wait till I snatch those Excuse me. Off your... We need to talk. Alone. <laughs>